All right, so this is day two, and I am going to show you uh, can crushing. Um, something about this one is God has designed all of us and all of the creatures, and we're not designed to go deep into the ocean, but he has designed some animals, such as an octopus, to go deep in the ocean. The pressure down there, our bones couldn't handle it, would just crush us. So we're going to see an effect of pressure on this can. So I'm going to make some ice water here. Now, you might have noticed that I have this little piece of plastic in my hand. This is a tip. If your container that you're going to put ice water in is not completely flat on the bottom, and I mean like really, really flat, you're not going to get a good seal when you put your can down. So this I just got from a pack of blueberries, just cut out the plastic on the top. If I put this on there, it's going to give me the seal I need, and then you'll see what happens here. All right, so this is water that we had. It was just boiling just a minute or two ago. It's just one of those tea kettles. I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. I don't even need to measure it. The can's going to get kind of warm. I also have some tongs, or you could use any kind of tongs if it gets too warm for you. I'm going to put this plastic right over top of there, and I'm going to submerge this upside down. Woo, look at that. It crushed already. <laughs> that didn't even take very long. Totally crushed my can of crush. All right, so um, this one was to show us that God is almighty and there's nothing that he can't do. Hi. Day two science experiment. We are doing diving octopus. Now this is an experiment that the helpers will prepare in advance. The kids will not be making these but they will get to play with them around the table. So one warning is, if they invert these bottles, water is going to get up inside their octopus and it's not gonna work anymore. They'll just be either stuck up top or actually sometimes they're just stuck the whole way at the bottom. So you wanna warn your kids, don't invert the bottles. So what we do for this is we take a pipette and cut off the bottom part so you only have about this much. Can you see that? About this much of the pipette. Then you're going to put this into the finger of a glove. You're going to put two washers on, probably do that before you put it into the glove, just to give him a little head there. And you're going to secure his head on with a small rubber band. Down below the washers. Okay, then since octopus, an octopus has eight legs, you can take some scissors and you can just make some cuts here into your finger of your glove and give him some octopus legs. Just in case you have some very astute children, you might want to make sure you get eight legs. <laughs> All right, now to make him float and then sink, you need to get a little bit of water inside the, the head of the pipette into the head of the octopus. So I'm going to put them into some water and squeeze a little bit. You'll see some air bubbles coming out. And then just make sure he floats partially in, partially out of the water. And then you're just going to fill up one of your bottles with the water. I'm not going to fill it the whole way, you understand. Fill, the, fill it with the water. And you're going to put him down in there. Put your lid on and then use either electrical tape or some type of sealing tape to tape around the edge like I did here, just so we don't get any leaks when we squeeze really hard. So God is amazing and he has created all kinds of things. Got over 150 types of octopuses living right about now that we know of. And that's your lab for the day. <laughs>